Смотрите. This is margarine, two packs of 25 kilograms. This village is located on the contact line. A month and a half ago, more than 600 people lived here. Now there are only 40. The rest were forced to leave for more peaceful places. Locals live without electricity, gas and water supply. Food is delivered to people once a week. The packages contain everything needed – cereals, butter and flour. Both children and the elderly help to unload. For us, uh, this is the only way to get some food. It is difficult to survive here. It will be great to have bread delivered more often than once a week. We have water here, but very little. We ask for another barrel of water, so that there is enough. This store was closed completely. It does not work. For those who stayed in Mariupol, neither food nor medicines can be delivered for more than a month. Two buckets of potatoes and a bucket of onions. This is all that is left for this family of eight. My husband managed to take it somewhere. It is not humanitarian aid. It's just another warehouse with frozen fish opened. He grabbed eight fish and a little more capelin there. We will cook soup for four days. Do you understand? Four days for eight people. There is no food at all. The mobile communication did not work. We could neither call anyone nor ask for help. Nothing. We just got out. I don't know how we managed. With fear and risk, we managed to get from hell. Everyone was shot from behind the column. According to the military civilian administration of the Donetsk region, about a hundred thousand people remain in Mariupol. They live in basements, in shelters. Significant work is being done there. There is a search for people. I cannot say how it happens, because people are moving from basement to basement. Buildings are ruined. There are more than 30 settlements throughout the Donetsk region, where people have to survive without electricity, water and gas. There are thousands of residents there. Luhansk region is also under shelling. In Usechansk, a gas pipeline was damaged. A grocery store was broken. Under constant shelling, Severodonetsk. The city without gas and electricity. More and more people are leaving their homes. I was a volunteer there helping people with food and medicine. I was almost killed eight times. I feel sorry for people, grandmothers, children who have no food. There is no water. There is nothing. God helped me to get it. The military and volunteers brought me food that I distributed to people. Meat, sweets, ice cream, cakes, even toys. So I was there as long as I could. Popasna, Rubizhne, Severodonetsk are under massive shelling every day. It is very difficult to deliver aid to these settlements. In order not to endanger their lives and to allow the military to do their job, people are asked to go to safe regions. Sevasha. It is becoming increasingly difficult to get there, to pick up people and bring some humanitarian supplies. Therefore, please do not delay. Our Ukrainian armed forces are in control of the situation. More than 30,000 residents have already been evacuated from the Luhansk region. How many people left on their own, it is impossible to say. Reported by Pavlo Stelmach, Natalia Husak, Olena Hramova, Yulia Bil, UATV News.